So what we'll do is we're going to cut right across the top of the cab. We're going to get this sleeper gone. And I'm also going to cut these off and sand them down. Here we go. You'll notice I've got, I left quite a bit out there. If you were using your Dremel, you could probably be a lot more precise, but that blade on there likes to wander. So I didn't get just too awful close to this because I, you know, that, like I said, the blade wanders and it can be a pain and, and then I have a, I take too much off and then that's a mess. So I leave it tall because when you see what I do next, you'll understand why I do it that way because this machine right here, just makes absolute short work of about anything you want to do. Okay, let me get you a little bit better look. There we go. Um, you'll notice that I cut from the back of the cab to the front. I've learned long ago, if you're using a bandsaw, if you're using a Dremel, it doesn't make any difference, I don't think, necessarily. But with the bandsaw cutting against that curve, it's hard to come in straight. So I come in from the back, and you'll notice I even tilted it into the blade so it would get through this you know, thick piece of the die cast here, the flat part, and then uh, off we go. If you're using a power tool like this, one thing I would caution you on this, um, not only does it get hot and you need gloves or something to hold it with, um, this is the, the front end of this is going to get kind of warm right here, and it can warp a little bit, so you just want to be cautious that, just watch the heat on this die cast so this doesn't want to bend and walk on you, because uh, this, like I said, this is going to get thin. Let's keep going.
you'll notice this, like I said, that is quite a bit thinner than it started out. And this was not that thin, obviously, duh. Um, and then we went ahead and I sanded all this down. Now, with the Dremel, you can accomplish everything we just did with the Dremel and this, okay? So this file here, it would just take you a while, but you know, you could do it with a file really, really easy. Well, not easy. I'm not going to say it's easy. That'd be pain. But it can be done. It could be done. If this was the only way you had to do it, that's the way I would recommend you do it. Put your file over a bucket in front of the TV and off you go. I'll just explain this piece of plastic real quickly and I'm going to leave this out so those of you taking notes will have it. You can use brass to cover the top of your cab if you so desire. I don't have any brass on me so I'm not using it, but this is what I am using. This is a 91104 Plastrex Styrene. It's 0 .40 uh, inches thick or one millimeter and it's just plain styrene sheet, nothing fancy there. So this is here if you're taking notes. But where we'll start tonight actually is on these 9800s, the Erta one has the setback axle. Well, that blows. We don't like it. Uh, so we're going to take our Dremel and cut a little curve up in here and then kind of flatten this area out so we can make our axle forward, okay? So instead of the setback axle, we're going to have this axle clear up here in the front where, you know, it could should be. Uh, much like a regular cab over you would see about anywhere else. Okay. So on the real ones, uh, this piece of uh, metal on the real trucks, or at least from the photos I've seen online, you know, it kind of starts and makes a pretty sharp curve right here. So we got to cut all this out, all right? So it can be kind of tricky, but with a Dremel, I think you'll get it. So what I'll do is I'm going to make kind of an incision right here, and then I'll come back on this side and cut that out right there. Okay, hopefully you could see that really well. All right. And Okay. All right, now you get to listen to the hum of the AC cuz I'm dying of heat. It's 85. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> So on the real ones, you might see a little bit of a curve here. I mean, it would be ever so slight of a curve from off this front piece of die cast to the back. Um, really depends, I don't know, you just have to use your own judgment. I just eyeballed this off of a one I found online. You'll notice um, on this side, I think I cut more, I cut deeper into the die cast on this side than I did here, because you can see part of that step is left over. So I'm actually going to come back and I'm going to trim this out too just to even up the sides. Um, doesn't have to be perfect because you can't see two sides at the same time, right? So if you think you got a little, if you got off a little bit, don't sweat it. it you won't die. Um, 
what else was there? Oh, and if all else fails, buy two of these so you have one for practice. Okay? That way you can learn how on one, sell it, and then keep the other one.